evening. I am Anna Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, well, please welcome our 36th governor of West Virginia, Jim Justice. I'm going to just come around here and sit down and talk to y'all, okay? Because I've got my, my knees hurting real bad, but it's not too bad. Are you doing good? Okay. What's your name? My name's Gracie uh, Morgan Black. Hey, Gracie. Can y'all say hi to Gracie? Yeah. She's beautiful, isn't she? And come here just one sec. What was your name? Anna Smith. And how about y'all saying hi to Anna? And didn't she do a good job? And she's just as beautiful as she can be too. Okay, so Anna, you now, you want to stay here? Get your chair and pull it over here. And get Gracie one too. Gracie, Gracie, you want to sit in that chair beside me? Come on around here, sit down. Okay, here's the deal. You know, we're at a crossroads, aren't we? In fact, we may even be at a running off the road in a catastrophe time. And you got a lot of good people that are upstairs that are really not bad people. They're not. And they're struggling with trying to figure out what to do. And at the end of the day, what's on the table today is just this. On the House side, there's $19 million of cuts in DHHR. And it's going to hurt Anna. And it's going to hurt Gracie. And it's going to hurt lots of y'all because that multiplies into big time $80 million of federal matching monies. And now it becomes terribly painful. On the Senate side, it's even way worse. On the Senate side, it's $47.7 million of cuts that multiply into $235 million of matching funds that hurt all of us. Now, these are beautiful young ladies. And you know, and I know too, that just because you're struggling doesn't mean you're productive or not productive or not meaningful or not beautiful or not loved. And so I don't believe we should do that. I have stood as strongly as I know how to stand, and I won't go away. And I'll stand to the bitter, bitter end because I've given us a pathway, a pathway how we can do it as all West Virginians without cutting into the bone and hurting us. Now, let me tell you, my sister has one son and couldn't have any more children and he's my size and he's autistic and he's just as beautiful as beautiful can be in every way and he's a wonderful wonderful young man and so i hear you and i know and all i want is goodness for all of us we have a pathway 
I've given us a pathway, and we need to get on that path. And the last thing I'll tell you is, this, is just this. You know, we have IDD waivers. It's a crying shame we have a wait list that's just terrible. Well, where we are today is the Senate wants to even cut that even more. In my budget in the beginning, I wish that we could have done this greater, but I, I increased that. And I would like us to get on a pathway of significantly increasing that. So just remember this, you are loved, Anna and Gracie, you are loved beyond belief. And you got this chunky governor here. I'm a little tubby a little bit because I've eaten too many Twinkies along the way, but that's okay because I know you love me too, don't you? Now, let me tell you, we can do this as West Virginians, all as one family that's joining hands together and helping one another. I mean it when I say this, that I really genuinely love you, and I do, and we're gonna win this battle. And it's a big time battle, but don't feel badly about those that may be upstairs that it looks like are doing things that maybe aren't good because really and truly they're trying to. They just don't know what to do. And I've given them the pathway of what to do. And then you may have a few that have a little bit of an impasse or maybe a blockheadedness that won't let them get there. But really and truly at the end of the day, all of us, all of us need to be West Virginians. All of us need to remember Annie and Gracie and get there. And I'm going to tell you we are. So God bless you. Thank you for having me and thank you for being here. And thank you so much for introducing me and thank you for sitting with me, okay?